Betelgeuse has long been on the mind of astrophysicists as a possible candidate for a long overdue supernova in our galaxy. Nonetheless, currently, the red supergiant seems to be doing better, after what was apparently a terrible incident in 2019. Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the sky, is located on the shoulder of the constellation Orion. However, in early 2019, the huge star had a mysterious dimming event that was observable to amateur observers. Data from the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories has led scientists to conclude that Betelgeuse blew its top in 2019 and is still being affected by the event. Betelgeuse seems to have lost a significant portion of its visible surface due to a massive surface ejection, or SME, as suggested by an observed sequence of events. An average coronal mass injection, or CME, from our Sun is around 400 billion times smaller than what was ejected during this event. Despite the excitement Betelgeuse sparked in 2019, the incident is not viewed as proof that the star would go supernova very soon. If this occurs, the death of Betelgeuse will be visible from Earth throughout the day. To counter this, in a recent paper published to High Energy Astrophysical Phenomena, a team of Japanese researchers explored methods to identify and perhaps anticipate precursor signs from an explosion from local type 2 and galactic supernovae. We can learn more about how and when supernovae, plural of supernova, could arise in the cosmos with this study, but how crucial is it to catch supernovae before they actually happen? The researchers modeled such a discharge from a red supergiant star's mass outburst using the publicly available program, CHIPS, or Complete History of Interaction-Powered Supernovae. This is noteworthy since a red supergiant star, Betelgeuse, has just been reported to decline in brightness, leading some to speculate that it soon may go supernovae. It turns out that Betelgeuse is on its last legs, but a 2021 research predicted that it wouldn't go boom for another 100,000 years. But what implications could this research have for Betelgeuse? According to the study's results, eruptions have light curves that are driven by a short shockwave pulse that lasts for just a few days, followed by a much longer cooling discharge that lasts for a few hundred days. There will then be a brief bright peak phase powered by the bound envelope, which will retract farther for lesser energy eruptions. According to the study's conclusions, multi-messenger investigations of core collapse, or supernovae, will benefit greatly from the detection of such massive eruption occurrences. Scientists were taken aback when the James Webb Space Telescope made its first supernova detection. It may allow for investigation into whole new areas. The explosion of a supernova only lasts a few seconds, making it difficult to detect. These star deaths create a dazzling bubble of dust and gas that fades after just a few days, so a telescope has to be gazing in the correct direction at the appropriate moment. We aren't able to accurately predict the time with Betelgeuse, something that makes astronomers cross their fingers that Webb's first supernova wasn't simply beginner's luck. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.